One of the things that I've noticed uh, you guys talking a lot about lately, I think that is um, important for the industry to understand, is in the database environment where we're dealing with multiplex data streams, in the, you know, for many other traditional vendors, the, the, you have two options basically, either don't deduplicate them or don't multiplex. And both, of course, obviously have some uh, pretty big negatives. Uh, you guys are one of the few that claim to do both, right? Mm -hmm. what, what, how are you guys doing that? And, and kind of describe the problem and, and how you guys are yeah. doing that. So the, so the problem is databases just get bigger and bigger and bigger, right? The backup window doesn't get bigger, right? <laughs> so how do, you, how do you slice and dice that problem? Well, you deploy uh, the feature of advanced backup applications, which is multi-stream backup. So you write the backup to multiple virtual devices. Mm -hmm. Uh, that that lets you divide the problem by the number of streams. So right, and that's a that's a solution that's been around for oh, that's right. decades. Right, it's mean, like, what we did on tape. Right, right. exactly. Yeah. Uh, the problem is that uh, most dedupe systems don't dedupe across tape images. They sort of dedupe within the the, date, the tape image or the tape drive or whatever. Mm -hmm. Now, the the other thing that complicates things is that. Uh, the database um, backup application itself has all these reader tasks that are collecting files because there's, there's hundreds of files in a typical database. Sure. Um, and then they have to decide which stream to write them to. And a lot of DDoP systems require that you always write the files in the same order to the same stream. But if a file's locked because the database is modifying it at the moment, that delays backup. Sure. Right? So to, to achieve the shortest possible time, you want to multiplex all this file reading write the files to any stream and have multiple sort of reader streams writing to as many writer streams as possible. So uh, we have developed algorithms that allow people to do that without compromising deduplication ratios. Okay. And so the, I, I, th you know, I think the general alternative in, you know, uh, let's call it non-sophisticated mm -hmm. dedupe appliances is to basically just turn off multiplexing and just absolutely, deal with yeah. the single Multiplexing price. absolutely has to be avoided. Right. And in many systems, uh, your dedupe ratio is a function of the number, uh, the, it's the inverse function of the number of streams. So the more streams you have to try and reduce the backup window, the worse your dedupe ratio is. Okay. So we give you a no compromise solution. Fast as possible backup with no effect on dedupe ratios.